Hi, hello, welcome to Camixel Technologies YouTube channel. It has been a very long time right now and uh, we have done videos in a very, very little manner. And here on, we will try to do a lot of videos regarding the tech re revolving around Blackmagic Design and ISO. So today what we are going to see is about the Atom Television Studio 4K8. So this is the highest end version of the Atom Television series which already has a HD8 and HD8 ISO. So today we are going to focus completely on 4K8 and in this video mostly we will be seeing about the overview, the inputs and outputs and what are the features and how physically it has been changed. So let's get into the video. This is 4K8 and in this series we have HD8 and HD8 ISO. So what are the differences between these three devices? So normally in HD8 and HD8 ISO it is the same. The difference is mainly on the ISO recording functionality. But this one 4K8, HD8 and ISO there is there are some differences that we are going to see now. First thing is you will get this bar where you can use it for your super source or picture in picture to control everything including zoom, uh, left and right movement and all those things. And the outputs of this one and the HD8 one will differ. HD8 and HD8 ISO, there are eight outputs, two aux outputs and one PGM output is there. So in 4K8, we have 10 aux outputs and one PGM output and multi-view output is there. So let's power up the device right now. Device can be is a portable device you can take it anywhere you want it's simply you, you can just lift it up with your hand and you can take it wherever you want ultra portable and you can use it in your sports or live production anywhere there are multiple cameras and this will work in 4k so just a physical overview of what it can do is start with we have the preview button and the program button program is which is going on air for you and we have a shift button normally it is 1 to 8 and media player 1 and 2 when you press shift you will get next set of sources available over here and if you double tap you can see the multiple sources is staying and it is not going and when you press something on the shift it will be blinking it will be blinking a both in our preview program and as well as uh, uh, select bus so select bus is basically whichever tool you are going to select as a preview uh, picture in picture db super source aux you can choose it from here so it can also work as a macro so you have multiple macro selections over here and you can press shift for next set of macro tools also so this is select bus this palette is very important and it's very new in uh, uh, Blackmagic Atom television series so basically you can control your level so you can select which track you want to control and you can do your level controls over here and we have pan, EQ, uh, expander, compressor, limiter and gate and finally we have also camera so you can control all sets of cameras and camera you have three different menus you can swipe through uh, from here and you can select whichever camera you want you can see the camera selection over here and you can switch back to level or pan at any point of the moment let's say you want to enable this particular track you can just select this select button and this will audio follow video and again if you select it will turn on so in this we have the studio functions over here mainly for your talkback you can call you, you pgm mix can be improved uh, you can dim mute uh, this is for uh, cans and the speaker and this is for talk and this is for studio so all these things have a separate separate output in the back side we will see in a moment and this is your major settings panel you can hit your home button to see which is going on air and preview uh, you will get your basic preview and program and you have your basic functions like uh, what rate your fade to black should be what rate your dve mix what rate your dv1 uh, should be and what is your auto rate which means the transition should be for uh, settings that is generalizing the switcher and then you come back to the switch settings and in settings you have multiple menus so you can see the dots over here which represents multiple menu you can switch between multiple menus over here now it is in hd you can switch up to ultra hd p60 this is the highest i can set the video standard and hit confirm and i can choose this is multi-view option so this is the switcher settings this is multi-view multi-view can be hd which means all your cameras can be 4K and if you have an HD monitor, you are good to go with the production. And uh, uh, we have the keyers, we have four uh, upstream keyers and if you hit this next button, you have two downstream keyers controls over here. And then we have mix, we have wipe, these are all transitions, the second layers are all transition, DV, stringer, dip 
and then we have fade to black function and media player border color and this is talk talk back which is basically you can hit mute or dim and you can control the levels over here and we have macros you can select which macro you want you can hit record or you can play back or keep a macro in loop all these things from here and then we have separate super source functions you can select which box you want to work on use your uh, 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 you can uh, have a different uh, uh, positions and XYZ all those things and you can choose with the help of select buzz you can choose which camera you want and then camera control is there so camera control is basically your iris uh, black level focus all those things you can do it from here auto iris and auto focus everything from here you can have different menus menu number two you have your gain uh, zoom and shutter functions and then you have your master uh, black uh, so, and then you have a master control. Have extensive control with the newer palette which is available over there. So then you have audio functions. Then you have aux. So aux in this particular switcher you have up to 11 aux. In this switcher you have 10 aux outputs. And as 11th aux you can use it as a webcam, USB webcam. So you, you, which means you can take the USB also as a webcam output. And the next thing is aux 10. So you can choose between aux 9 and you can choose which source you want to go select in aux 9 and same for, go, for goes for aux 10 so if you select double tap this particular choose between preview and multi view so you can see this four upstream keyers over here and you also have a macro button if you go down a little bit you have multiple transition functions you can do whatever transitions you want and if you want to preview what transition you are going to do you can hit a preview transition button over here and you can choose whichever transition whatever transition you do it will not affect your program until this preview transition is removed so this is transition function we have two dsk functions and one fade to black and the top of over here around six buttons which is basically grabbing a still and we have a switch button to switch between the ssds which is connected to this device if you it has two usb c's if you connect two usb c you can switch between where you're recording and you have a record and stop button and on air and off air so quickly we'll get back to the back side of the switcher and see what all the new connectivities are available inside this particular switcher we have ac power and dc power we have reference input and output time code input and output and we also have a madi input and output which in single cable you can carry up to 32 channels of audio and we have two usb c's you can connect it to your system for a usb webcam or you can connect it to one hard drive and we have four ethernet port which is 10 gig you can use it to access the files inside uh, the switcher or you can even give internet connection to the switcher to do a live, stream, live streaming from the switcher itself. We have a, a remote function and we have a talkback to integrate with third party talkback functionalities. And here you can see we have 8 inputs, 8 aux outputs, 9th aux output and 10th aux output. And we also have a multi view in uh, SDI and HDMI and a traditional PGM. So we have an input for uh, control output and studio output for the studios and also we have a stereo input. Two XLR uh, inputs are available and one talkback headset okay, where you can interact with the camera people from the switcher area. So that is all about the Atom Television Studio 4K8 a brief overview and we will be coming up with more exciting videos to use this switcher and other Blackmagic design products. So stay tuned and if you have any questions or doubts, our comment sections are always open for you.